another day in Belgium and another Belgium cyclocross this time hopefully a bit more on my level if you're wondering why I look like deaf and have black eyes the rocket has not punched me just yet big chance though but after mole yesterday I could not sleep probably because I took a caffeine pill at five o'clock at night I was absolutely wired my eyes were wide open I was looking at the ceiling but of course the wife, aka the rocket, is more tired than me, even though she was out like a light all night, <laughs> snoring like a blimmin. Oh, snore. oh. But today we're in Namur and it's more of a, like a local one. We just went and had a look round and we didn't know if we were on the course or not, so we've retreated back to the van. But hopefully the rocket's gonna get some footage. It's gonna be more my level this, well, I say more my level. The Belgians know how to do cyclocross and know how to race, but it's not gonna be like yesterday in Mole where I got absolutely smashed. But rocket, she hasn't spoken to me for this full hour and 45 drive. That is. Yeah, you just moaned at me. I don't know why you came out here. <laughs> You're not good enough. I didn't say that. You're in over your head. <laughs> yeah. I am. That. I am. I can't speak Flemish. I ain't got a clue what's going on. You can't, you can't sign on until uh, Nico. Yeah, I can't sign on until Nico turns up because obviously I can't speak Flemish, so I have no idea what's going on. But I'm going to sign on in a minute, do a practice lap. And then hopefully, well, I'll get a full race in today, which is good, a full 40 minutes. This is what it's all about. It is muddy, slippy, there's no sand, thank God. And thanks to Nico for signing me on because I'd have been absolutely no hope. In Belgium, it's different everywhere, isn't it, Rocket? So you've Flemish got French. Flemish, French. French. And guess what, we don't speak French, so... Or Flemish, <laughs> we know bonjour. And uh, that is about it. So, they've said I can wear my camera. My mount snapped yesterday, but I've just done a practice lap. It's, uh, it's muddy. But there's a little look at the course. We go like over a bridge and stuff. And uh, I'm just gonna go as hard as I can go. I don't know where the start is. I don't know what go is. We'll see how it goes. I got a free bag though. Mm. Okay. So I'm the real winner. That was proper fun. We're gonna cheer Nico on now, who's off next. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have had a clue what was going on. When they, even when they said 30 seconds to go, I was like, what's going on? And Nico had to shout at me 30 seconds. They were calling up by numbers for the start, but in French. Obviously, George. Oh, oh yeah, obviously. I should have Googled what 360 was mm. in French first, but that was mega fun. That's that's my level cross. I'm not exactly sure where I came. Maybe it just top 10. just inside the top 10. Yeah. I went really hard on the first lap trying to get past people and I was in a bad way after lap one. But that's the state of the bike. Mm. It was... It was muddy in places, but it wasn't like the UK mud where 
you need to bike change. It was just about perfect. It was like mm. a 43 minute race. It was killer. I don't, I don't know. Oh, the Belgians know how to race and they are, they are aggressive. If you leave a tiny gap, they will go past you. And it's, it's fun, it's full on. We're gonna watch a bit of Nico's race now and cheer him on because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have got to experience this. And after yesterday, on the way here this morning, I was, I was miserable because yesterday's race was completely out of my league and I wasn't good enough, but I found my domain now, <laughs> local level. Stick to and your lane. Stick to my lane, like the rocket said. Did, did I do you proud, you wife? She did me proud. She did me proud. But I had not a Scooby. Did you say she did me proud? Huh? Oh, don't worry. She did. I, I done her proud. Oh, her, the cat's Mava. So Nico's race is about to get underway, and I think he is actually pretty good because he's gridded on the front row. So normally I think we'd all be in one category, but because there was too many entries today, there's like maybe how many do you reckon are there? Like 50 in each race. Yeah. Like 100 would have been too many on the course. So they broke it down into like 18 to 39, and I think Nico might be 41. So he's about to start. I'm gonna. Here we go. Nico is black and red kit. Pink gloves. Carnage. <laughs> Go on, Nico. This is the guy in the lead. He is. He's the, he's the Belgian Paul Lloyd, isn't he? <laughs> the Belgian Paul Lloyd. He's flying. To be fair, second place that caught him up a bit. A few moments later. Look at this. What more could you ask for? after a race. I have no idea how the rocket has cooked this food. I don't, think, I don't know if it's entirely cooked, it's more just burnt. Oh, it's... Because it's all meant to be oven cooked. And we obviously don't have no oven. oven. She cooked it on the stove. So if I'm not alive tomorrow, the rocket's food poisoned me. But, oh, what a day. Just finished cleaning the bikes. This is, this is hard work. I'm not going to lie. But couldn't do it without this true true legend the beanied wife oh don't roll your eyes <laughs> sum up today heroic carnage carnage <laughs> i think i think i come sick if i haven't seen the results yet but just finished cleaning the bike that was absolutely caked in mud so i know i said in like the first video i was going to cook the whole time out here but you know two notes on the truck the rocket's cooked Ah, oh. <laughs> I only done it for the first video. I made myself look like a legend, didn't I? Woo. But most importantly, it is Christmas Day tomorrow and the rocket is ecstatic that there is no cross tomorrow. Mm. Give me a ho, ho, ho. Come on. Only because you'd, you'd lose an I'm going to lose a subscriber if she doesn't do this. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Give me a yee -haw. No, George, don't push it That's now. it. That's it. <laughs> Watch out, wow, the rocket's about and she's adjusting to driving on the right side of the road and it is persisting it down in Belgium. But what else are you going to do on Christmas Day? Go for a bike ride. We live in the Belgium dream rocket. But it is really raining and the rocket is not happy that the roads are too flat. So she's got to actually use her legs. <laughs> because the engine's cutting out. What a day to be alive. What a Christmas day. But I'm in the bad books. I was told this morning, let me, oh, let me wipe the screen. This is important. My Christmas game needs to up next year, I've been told by the rocket. And 
I thought a trip to Belgium was enough of a Christmas present. The audacity and to ride with me on Christmas Day. Do you not know I've raced with Wout Van Aert? <laughs> <laughs> Do you not know I've been lapped by Wout? This is a privileged rocket. But I think I'm going to have to put the camera away because I'm getting bloody soaked. But we're going to go down the canal, I think. The world's flattest route. We're going to do an hour easy. And then the rocket's plan is coffee and mince pie. Get in my belly. Hello, Christmas has started. The rocket is happy now. And I'd like to add that was actually her route created. So the reason it took us one hour 42 is because she has no idea of distance. Woo! How was the ride? Mm -hmm. It'd have been spot on if it wasn't absolutely yeah. hammering yeah, it down. It was perfect route. But Christmas begins now. I tell you what, it's a bloody Christmas miracle. One pie cooked, uh, that is a pretty poor Christmas dinner. Um, <laughs> Not bad a with a microwave and two stoves. A pie cooked on a stove, will I survive? I don't know. But not a bad attempt. You probably add it's a veggie pie. So oh yeah, it's, it's a like vegetarian meat. pie, so there's no meat in there, so I probably won't die. Yeah. But obviously I had to cook because the Rockets had a bottle of wine and... Uh, She's a little bit worse for wear. <laughs> She's a bit white girl wasted. So a little Christmas day taste test from the rocket. What are we saying? Mm. Smashed it. And this is probably the latest Christmas day dinner ever. Five past seven. We've been eating Pringles, watching movies. But I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope you had a good Christmas day from me and the rocket. Give them a ho, ho, ho. I've already done a ho, ho, ho. One more. No, Once she's okay, had a few drinks, ho -ho she's anyone's. <laughs> Can't say that. But in all seriousness, thank you for watching the videos. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you've all had a good Christmas.